You think Jake is Jason Morgan? How do you even know that name? <laughs> um, all the cool kids are talking about him. Really? Like who? A whole bunch of people who think he's dead. But you and I know he's not, because he's Jake. And you've been trying to keep that little tidbit from everyone in this town. You mean from all the cool kids? Bottom line, the man whose wife I pretended to be isn't named Jake Barnes, or even just Jake. He's a guy named Jason Morgan. And where did you get this misguided and completely absurd idea? <laughs> from you. I figured this out. From me? Mm-hmm. Right from this beautiful, full, kissable lips. That's funny. Because I don't remember addressing the subject with you. You were talking to me. It wasn't enough for Carly to blow my fake marriage all to hell. She evicted me from her hotel. Wouldn't even give me time to go get my things, and I wasn't about to let her dump them on the street. So I snuck back inside, and as I was crossing through the lobby, I happened to overhear you and Elizabeth having a very <laughs> intense conversation. <laughs> you were spying on us. You probably shouldn't have been discussing top secret subjects in a public place. Although, Elizabeth didn't sound too stable, so maybe you didn't have a choice. What did you hear? You. Saying that you thought Elizabeth was going to tell everyone that Jake Doe was really Jason Morgan. Obviously, Elizabeth didn't go through with it. You must have thought your secret was safe. I guess you didn't count on little old me. <laughs> F. So? When can I move in? You can't. <sighs> we need to reevaluate, Prince. The situation has changed. There's no longer the threat of mutually assured destruction. In fact, I have nothing left to lose. I'll find something. While you, if this information about Jake, Jason, Doe, Morgan were to get out, you stand to lose a great deal indeed. Do I? Bye bye, ELQ. Hello, heartbreak for Elizabeth. And what about all those other people who have a vested interest in Jason Morgan? Didn't I hear that his wife, Sam, is your cousin? You're going to have a whole lot of pissed off relatives, yours and Jason's. I, I heard Elizabeth saying something about if the truth came out, Jason would belong to Carly. She's a vindictive cow, but no one said she was stupid. I'm sure she'll find a very creative way to punish you for keeping Jake's identity a secret. And there was another name that Elizabeth mentioned. Oh, that's right, Sunny. As in Sunny Corinthos, the Teflon Don? You're keeping the truth about Jake from a mob, Kingbin? Like I said, you have a whole lot to lose. You think you're holding all the cards, don't you? Pretty much. But it doesn't have to be a bad thing. And after all, we're compatible in so many ways. You're overestimating your advantage. This doesn't have to be antagonistic. Having me around could be a lot of fun. So come on. What do you say? You don't mind the mixed metaphor? You want to play ball or what? No, I don't think you'd like it here. There's lots of rocks and cliffs and miles and miles of catacombs. I wouldn't want you to get lost. And the house itself really uh, excuse isn't me, that Excuse me, excuse me, house? <laughs> You're an honest-to-God prince who lives in a castle on an island. Doesn't get much more fairy tale than that. You obviously haven't read very many fairy tales. If you had, you'd run screaming right now. Oh, I plan to scream. And yell and moan and scare the horses. <sighs> yeah. I think I'll be very happy here. <laughs> and how am I supposed to explain your presence here after what happened at the nurse's ball? Hmm? Just tell everyone that I decided to take in the town pariah? The way I see it, that's your problem. Let me stay, come on. <laughs> we'll have so much fun. Fine, you can stay for now. Mm. Don't get too comfortable. It's hard not to be comfortable in 800 thread count sheets. So, you up for round two? In your dreams. 